Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my finds and flops for my Nourish Beauty Box and this is from the months of July through September. Uh, I do these kind of as a follow-up to unboxings just so you guys can kind of know um, what worked for me and what didn't. Sorry, my hair just like got in my face and was bothering me. Uh, I was actually thinking of making these instead of doing like every three months for a particular box, doing them every month for all the boxes that I received in that particular month. So like doing all the October boxes together. Um, so let me know if you guys would prefer that or if you like this one more. Um, I was just thinking of changing it. Uh, but I actually, out of everything that I have received from Nourish Beauty Box in the past three months, I only have one thing that I didn't really care for. Um, the first thing I want to talk about are these nail polishes. We receive one in every box and we got Trust Yourself, Breathe and Let Go, and then Celebrate Life. And I love all three of these shades. Like, this one's just a beautiful blue and then an orangey red and then this one's like a metallic brownish gold color which I don't have anything like this in my collection. Really like all three of these so I've just been really liking those. For makeup one thing we received is the Seraphine Botanicals Basil and Beet Vegan Eyeshadow Palette and um, it is really small like you can see it's like smaller than my hand. Um, and it comes with four different shimmer shades and you can probably tell that I have used this quite a few times I think this is absolutely beautiful. They are just super pigmented Love this um, Plus, I think it'd be really good for travel as well and also from Seraphine Botanicals We got the sea and sun illuminating vegan bronzer and um, I've been really liking illuminating bronzers and blushes lately So I have used this a few times now Really like it, and yeah, we'll definitely continue to use. And then I have from Peony Cosmetics, this is their Lips of an Angel Matte Lipstick in Stockings. And this was actually in a recent favorites video of mine, and um, I just broke it. Uh-oh, there we go. Um, and I was surprised that I like this because it is more of a pinky nude, and I tend to like more reds or vampy colors, uh, but I really like this and I like the formula of it. It is super comfortable. Um, we also got this brush from Seraphine Botanicals. It's their blush and highlight. I use it for highlight. I actually used it today, so it's, um, is it head dirty? But uh, I think this is perfect for highlight. I use it almost every day. Definitely happy to receive this brush and it's just very nice quality and I love the rose gold to it. So that has definitely been one of my favorites. Uh, moving on to more like skincare kind of things. This isn't skincare. I don't know what to put this in, what category. It's a foaming makeup brush clen cleaner. I almost said cleanser. A cleanser for brushes, what? Um, and this is from, I think it's Clean Haven Naturals, and it's actually an Etsy shop. And you can see in there it is a liquid, but it turns into a foam when you use it. And I have used it a few times now. And I find that this works really well. And um, I don't think these were expensive either, like anything from their shop. So definitely gonna have to look into that more. I love getting things from Etsy shops in general. Um, and then I have three skincare items. This one is from Raspberry Mint, and it is a face massage and <laughs> clear skin serum. And I've been using this in the mornings, and it is all the way down here now. Like, I have used a good amount of this. Um, I really like it, and it smells really good. It has a little rollerball application, and... Yeah, I've really been liking this and I love how it smells as well. I tend to like more earthy scents. Um, so I've been really liking that. Uh, the next two are from Peony Cosmetics again and um, everything from them always smells amazing. This is their uh, Lagoon Drizzle and you can probably tell how much I have used. And um, you'll need like the tiniest little amount, like it comes in a little dropper. And um, I really like this. It's definitely very hydrating. And I will take anything for hydration going into um, the colder months of the year because I already have dry skin. So anything that will help with that, definitely appreciate it. So I have been loving that. 
And then this other one is a blemish zapper. It's a pimple drying lotion. And I've actually used a good amount of this now. It's like down to here. Um, and again, you need the smallest amount of this. This also smells really good. And um, this definitely helps not like, it won't completely get rid of a pimple by any means, but it definitely helps with inflammation. Like I tend to get cystic acne and um, I will put this on it and let it sit overnight and it definitely helps it kind of go down and not be as painful. So um, I've been using this pretty much every night. And then whenever I don't use it, I will like wake up and it's like, I like, I'll get pimples like right here and they'll be all inflamed and my skin's not liking me and I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't use this. So um, that's definitely been one of my favorites. And then the last thing I have is my only flop. And um, this is from Thistle, I think, Botanically Based Goodness, Absorb Face. And um, this I mostly just didn't like, it's a powder. And um, this mostly I just didn't like because of my dry skin. I don't think this um, really is good for dry skin. It says it is for all skin types, but uh, I think maybe if you have like combo to oily skin or maybe if your skin's just not as dry as mine because I have really dry skin, maybe it'll work better. So I think I'm gonna pass this along to somebody else because it's just not really working for my skin. And I have used it uh, a few times. I think you can tell in there how much has gone from it. Um, so I don't think it's a bad product. I just think it's not really meant for my skin type. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My links are in the thingamajigger and I will see you later. Bye!